Hello, I'm Diego Iorio and I'm from Argentina. I'm part of a group that is called the Nation of the Five Sun and this group was born one year and a half ago in Argentina in South America. Um, I'm sharing you my word because it's very special for us as a group that we are making different kinds of actions that are uniting what is art, science and spirituality. We think that it's really time for human beings to make this union and don't think about these things separately. We are making actions as festivals, workshops, retreats, and helping also elders of First Nations to travel to another countries for giving their ceremonies to secret places and then to unite to another big world ceremonies. It's very important in these times to help in this process because all First Nations tribes are talking about different kinds of prophecies that bring the same meaning. It's time to unite. It's time to be all together in these big alliances of art, science and spirituality. These prophecies are named as the eagle and the condor, the prophecy of the Mastai, the prophecy of the Pachacuti, and these are all names of different kinds of nations, first nation in America, that they are alive. When we are talking about ancestrality, we are not talking about history. We, we are really talking about present times. And this is a, a, a very special thing that we really have to make a pause and start thinking about it. When we are talking about coming back to ancestrality or bringing that knowledge, we are really talking about the law of origin. And the law of origin, it really doesn't have any time. It's present time, every time. So it's like, I, I, I would like to make this example, no? When we are talking about the, the different kingdoms, like the natural kingdoms or vegetal kingdoms, kingdom, if we talk to a plant, and we talk about going back to ancestrality, it's like, uh, I don't understand about what you're talking because I'm living in present time every time. And ancestral knowledge, it's talking about how we can harmonize in this law of origin with everything. So I'm bringing this because we really have to understand that different elders when they are talking about coming back to the origins they are talking about coming back to our hearts in connection to nature and all living beings it's very important <clears throat> to to think about this because it's important to be all together and think that we are all united. We are all in the big circle of life. 
we are not separate and we have to really think that we are a big family in relations all natives nations talk about this relation as a family with the tree with the lake with the mountains with everything and it's time for us that we are uniting all the times in these present times because we are the ones who are making what that are building this big like um, this big uh, bridge of every kind of colors it's the rainbow bridge that we are making also in the prophecies they are talking about the rainbow warriors and there are warriors that they're coming with these words of peace and uniting but how with actions with this kind of actions making this union of art science and spirituality for example i'm here in right now i'm in colombia and we have come here as a group bringing the the word and the spirit of Patagonic elders. We, we have been part of a very nice ceremony that is called the Kivas. The Kivas are a Native American ceremonies that had uh, started like 30 years ago and they are being held in different kinds in different parts of America also in Europe in Asia and in this time we help to bring an elder from Argentina from Patagonia to bring his knowledge to this ceremony to the Kiva the Kiva is the union of lot of elders with their own chants and prayers to a central fire for the balance and healing of mother earth and human being so it's very important for us to really involve in this process of helping the memory comes alive and really gives its power of healing.